In this video, I said, if this video hits 10K likes, I will, wait for it, I'm finding it. I will follow the Dr. Now recipe for a whole week. Oh Lord. And y'all really did deliver, so here I am. Your girl did celebrate a birthday and ate a lot of good food after this, okay? <laughs> Under my last video, some of y'all were trying to figure out where to get this book. It is on Amazon, click the link below, or you can scan this and it'll take you straight to it. And I think overall it's a good book. See, I bought it because I'm a fan of the show. I watched the show. I'm a supporter, okay? There's some typos in here and some of Dr. Now's recipes are um, pretty interesting as we saw in the last video. Dr. Now does not say add oil, add butter, none of that y'all. Which is why in this challenge I made sure to make things my own. List of high calorie foods to avoid sugar. Candy, cookies, cake, donuts, pie, ice cream, sweetened fruit, frozen yogurt, sherbet, milkshakes. <laughs> Pasta, noodles, minimized bread, including wheat bread and tortillas. Okay. okay. Protein or vegetables, okay? That's that's it. <laughs> cool aid. Now I know he didn't spell it right, but that's okay. We know what you mean. I really hope Dr. Now does not see this. I mean, I, I just feel like he would make me cry for real, for real. Like, he's a little harsh and He's just so like old and you know, fragile that you don't wanna snap on him either. Like, Dr. Now, I'ma let you have it. So every morning I had eggs and spinach. Breakfast was pretty easy, honestly. Like, it was just easy, straight to the point. It was quick, so I was good. I wasn't even concerned about breakfast. Weighing the food. One thing that I did not think I would ever do, honestly, in life is weigh my food. Four ounces for steak, four ounces for chicken. I went ahead and weighed my food ahead of time. Like, come on, nobody was gonna be bringing out that scale every single day. If you wanna try a diet similar to this, especially if you're weighing food, then go ahead and just weigh it out and meal prep it. That's exactly what I did. Not every day, but I tried to meal prep a lot of the things that I ate. I had some leftover chicken. I had some leftover steak. This really helped. And did I consider the seasoning that goes into Chipotle's steak and chicken? No. Could it be that much? Really, you know, some salt and pepper, some seasonings. Is that okay, doctor, now? Beside my protein, of course, vegetables from broccoli. One day I had colorful cauliflower and that just added a nice little flair. Sometimes you just gotta switch it up and make it fun, honestly. Another thing that got my mind off of what I could be eating, I watched my favorite shows. This was important. Watch my favorite shows, it just makes things better, okay? It helps the time pass. Let's talk about salads because Dr. Now does recommend a few salads. I did a lot of prepping for that because my husband also wanted some. So your girl was in there going in. Water. I am a big drinker of water. If I'm not drinking water, then I'm not drinking anything. That's how much, like, water is it, that's the only thing. Not all the time, I mean, a girl likes her mixed drinks. I love my natural ginger ale every now and then. There were little moments, okay? I don't think I cheated that bad though, okay? So I made some chicken thighs. 
Chicken thighs got a little fat on them. Olive oil on the chicken thighs with some good seasoning. With a side of veggies, that's not bad, okay? That's, that's not that deep. Come on now. There was one little slip up moment I had eating some peanut butter in the pantry. Now look, okay, because I feel like I saw it in here that we could have peanut butter, but then I saw it on the avoid list. So I don't know what happened. I don't know how it got there. I don't know. I only had a spoonful, so hey, it ain't that much, but I needed some energy, y'all. I needed some energy and I needed something sweet. A lot of people in the last video did remind me like, hey, you're not 600 pounds right like technically this is not necessarily something that you have to do so keep that in mind disclaimer like do this at your own risk go to a professional expert when I needed energy I had a protein shake I had a spoonful of peanut butter you know what I'm saying just, just to bring myself back to life okay I did make cabbage steaks which is something that I saw on TikTok cabbage steaks are really good but it does need olive oil I also used a seasoning that had butter in it so a cheat stuffed cabbage okay they really just ended up being more like tacos honestly It's really the seasonings that I just feel like Dr. Now needs to be a little bit more like open-minded with, with his recipes, because he just recommends curry and cumin and mint, things that may not really go together, and he does not put salt, huh? like, at all in any of his recipes. You're not gonna see add salt. I don't, no, no. I don't see that at all in his recipes, and I'm not sure if he, meant to do it that way, but you can only imagine how bland the food could be. I feel like a lot of people are going to expect a before and after, and I'm gonna let you know um, the after does not exist. But here is a before, a little before here. <laughs> um, so my problem areas. After having two kids, I think it's always been the stomach area. That is the area where I feel like I'm always probably going to have to work a little harder. Everything else is good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, things can be toned up, but for the most part, like that is my area that I would say that I would like change in. This challenge really just allowed my eyes to be very much open to a lot of the people that go on the show and just understanding that, you know, when they're hit with the book that Dr. Now recommends, I understand why people are confused on this show. It can kind of get a little like overwhelming and honestly kind of scary. I'm actually probably gonna go on a binge. I wish we could watch it together. I'm gonna have to figure something out. And I'm trying to spot if anyone made anything out of the book. I think in one episode, um, I did see the making eggs with spinach and I'm curious to know, was that the recipe? Like, did they follow it to a T? Anyway, shout out to the J team. If you want to shout out like this, all you gotta do is hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let me know below. Like this video, y'all. Show this video some love. Like the video if you did enjoy. Your girl's already looking into doing another interesting challenge. But comment below. Let me know what type of 
challenge you would like me to do on this channel and if it gets a lot of love why not that's it make sure to be bold brave and beautiful and i will catch y'all in the next video Bye.